Hello again. Every so often, a news item crops up in this country, which causes a certain amount of bewilderment to ordinary people who are not in the know. Such a thing occurred a couple of months ago, when newspapers reported that government ministers were determined to oppose the idea of civil servants working from the beach, as it was put in the description to this video. I give a news link to one of these uh, newspaper articles on the subject. This sounded as though clerical workers from the Ministry of Defence and so on wanted to go to Benidorm and answer their emails and deal with official correspondence while sunbathing in a deck chair, which sounded pretty odd. That wasn't at all what was going on, though. The problem was far more serious than that, and it is still far more serious than that. The actual situation is that many civil servants whose ancestry lies in Africa and Asia are pushing to be allowed to remain in their own countries, but keep their jobs and work from home in Nigeria, Pakistan and Sudan, and countries like that. This would enable them to live like princes, with a salary at British levels to live on in countries with far lower standards of living. One can readily see the attraction of such a scheme. This idea ties in, of course, very neatly with what we see in British banks and uh, other large corporations. Whenever I ring my bank, I speak not to somebody at the local branch where my account is, but rather a person thousands of miles away in India. Often this person, although very polite, has such a strong accent that I have to listen carefully and then speak slowly and simplify my language, spell out words and so on. I dare say that many viewers would have had similar experiences. This gave many British civil servants of foreign extraction a brilliant idea during the pandemic when working from home became the norm. If they were not expected to go into the office, but could undertake all their duties from home, then why on earth should they be limited to a home in this country? Why not go back to the countries from which their families originated and do the jobs there instead? After all, the average annual income in Pakistan is less than £500 a year. Imagine living there with an annual income of twenty-five or £30,000 a year. Fairly typical income for a clerical worker in the civil service. Why, that would mean that they would be 50 or 60 times better off than most people in the country. So it was that the working from home scheme in the civil service became a working from abroad scheme for thousands of people. No wonder they didn't want to go back to the office after the Covid business came to an end. That's why, at the moment, more than two-fifths of civil servants are still working from home. That is to say, homes either in Britain or in various other countries. A year ago, the main civil service union, the FDA, passed a motion at its annual conference insisting that their members should be eligible for international remote working for the benefit of their family life. Yes, you did hear correctly. They wanted international home working so that they could be with their families in Asia and Africa. You would never have guessed that this was going on unless you had kept a sharp eye on the news from last May and then tied it in with what was being said a few months ago about civil servants working from the beach international remote working for the benefit of their family life indeed. <laughs> Have you ever heard the like? If, like me, you need to deal with the inland revenue to discuss tax matters, you may have noticed that they no longer answer the telephone there. Indeed, a month ago they announced that they wouldn't be answering the telephone at all over the summer. Incredibly, I had to communicate with them by letter the last time I had a query. The reason is that thousands of the clerical workers, both there and in other government departments, are actually in Nigeria, and Pakistan and other countries as I speak, enjoying international remote working 
for the benefit of their family life. This is the ultimate and logical conclusion of several trends in modern Britain, and it's the real reason that you cannot get through when you telephone a government department, because they're not even in the bloody country. We have only ourselves to blame for allowing this situation to emerge. As usual in the description to this video, I give various links um, to back up what I'm saying. But a little bit of research on the internet will soon bring to light a good deal more on this subject.